I have to admit, I'm a huge fan of all things Oregon. From the Oregon Ducks, to the Oregon landscapes, to Aura Ida potatoes. Of course, just the Aura part. So naturally, Portland, being Oregon's crown jewel and all, must be good. Wrong. It's great. Uniquely great. And great at everything it wants to be great at. So I have roughly 36 hours to do it justice. So I got myself this cute little Airbnb in Portland Heights. Now that's kind of like, dare I say, the Beverly Hills of Portland. There's a few things I do know about Portland. It's great food, awesome going out town, and I know that the nature around it is ridiculous. So for that reason, the three pillars of Portland to me are eating, drinking, and hiking. So the plan for today, after eating this mammoth voodoo donut, is to go get fat, get in trouble, and then walk it off. Oh, that's just stupid good. Oh. So by the way, if you're wondering what voodoo donut is, it's this awesome, awesome donut shop in Chinatown, Portland. Just delivers these mammoth, super creative donuts. And uh, I managed to score some before I got to my Airbnb yesterday, so. In honor of being in Portland, Oregon, I present to you the Angry Hipster Sock. It's probably a chef or a barista or something. What better way to walk off a 600 calorie donut than by walking through a posh Portland neighborhood? I'm told this used to be a warehouse district, but now it really just consists of high rises and yuppies turned stockbrokers. You can hear the Teslas throttling quietly in a 1% kind of way. So, the Pearl District. You want artists, you want art galleries, you want some good restaurants, but more of a neighborhood and sort of a high class neighborhood? Well, you come here. Something about Portland gets me hungry all the time. And not too far from here is a place where heaven is placed in between two slices of bread. That would be this place, Lardo. If anyone you know has ever questioned how good a sandwich could be, block them on Instagram and take them here. Lardo is prototypical Portland. Love that one thing you do and do it stupidly well. And yeah, I get it. I'm eating my sandwich like an inmate. But you know what? You would be too if you were eating this pork shoulder sandwich with in-house made kimchi. Okay, so few things in my life have ever tasted as good as that sandwich from Lardo. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Not even a threesome with Japanese twins could amount to that pleasure. Just west of the Pearl is the pristine and swanky Northwest District, otherwise known as Knob Hill and the adjacent Alphabet District. Yes, it's trendy, and it's probably where you want to go shopping and take your family out to brunch. The thing with the Knob Hill District is this. Any of that stigma that's associated with Portland, that uh, keep Portland weird kind of thing, you're not gonna find it here. So by all means, if you're not a fan of weird and eccentric and, well, quintessential Portland, this is gonna be your neighborhood. It actually reminds me more of like a cutesy suburb of Boston more than the reckless obsession for the weird that Portland really has. I actually like it here a lot, and you will too. If you think you need to fly to Italy or New York for a top-notch pizza, relax. Portland's got your back. Okay, so this place, the Pizza Souls, is so good. The wait is ridiculous. Like, it's insane. And it's only open for like four hours each night, maybe three, depending on how much dough they have. So following up in themes here in Portland, a Pizza Shoals is the best pizza I've ever had outside of Italy. And I got myself a half Bianchi, half Amore pizza, bacon Bianchi. And oh man, I am so stoked. Literally every single time I'm here in Portland, I need an 18 inch a Pizza Shoals pie. It's that good. <sighs> Okay, so I've come to the realization that there's a lot of sin being committed in this trip to Portland. I mean, there's gluttony, lots of that. Um, there's gonna be lust when I go out, and uh, there's pride. 
I'm always so prideful. I, um, I would say that, that Portland is my Las Vegas. It's a city filled with sin. Oh, so good. Before I feel any worse about the current state of my body, I get up and head out to where the action's at. Somewhere between the Pearl and Chinatown. But keep in mind, there is no shortage of bars in this town. You've got the upscale teardrop lounge if you like to be seen. If you fancy a self-explanatory kind of establishment, you have the quality bar. Kind of divey, but still up to health code standards. And then you have this place. Al's Den. Part of a larger McMenamins complex, it's got a speakeasy feel, minus all the pretentiousness. By the way, you really ought to visit at least one McMenamins establishment when you're in Oregon. They just do things the right way. Ugh. Oh, good morning, Portland. So, good bit of drinking went on last night. Uh, definitely got a good glimpse of the Portland bar scene, which is endless. Truly, truly endless. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna go walk it off. I'm going over to the Columbia River. I'm gonna go check out Cascade Locks and something that to me is really, really special. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I get there. Fifty minutes east of Portland is the town of Cascade Locks. Cascade Locks is dubbed the heart of the Columbia River Gorge. It also has a really important trail that goes right through it. Now that trail, of course, is the Pacific Crest Trail. So one of my favorite films from the past 10 years is the movie Wild with Reese Witherspoon. Now, if you've seen the film or you've read the novel, then this bridge probably will be very familiar with you. And of course, this bridge, which shows up at the end of the film, is called the Bridge of the Gods. You see, there's a similarity between the Bridge of the Gods in the novel Wild and the city of Portland. In the novel, Cheryl Strayed, the main character, hikes the Pacific Crest Trail and finds herself eventually here at the Bridge of the Gods. You see, in Portland, people go to be accepted, and once they get there, whatever their craft may be, they perfect it. Now, as for me, Portland's all about great food, awesome nightlife, and well, all this beautiful nature that surrounds it. <laughs> 